Hello Warriors, I just posted a video on my channel called um, or establishing the relationship between mental health and mental illness in living in a city. And then I thought, it's not just a city, it's the way we live in the, sorry, I'm just gonna put this like this, in the city that's also toxic. And how do we live? Capitalism. Um, there's two major points in capitalism that um, are intriguing and once one is like this fierce competition against each other that we now have and we didn't used to have we used to live in tribes in the jungle or in villages where we used to help each other okay we would defeat our enemies that's true but majorly um we would trade goods if I would have a cow and I would have some milk, I would trade it for some corn, etc, etc. So we, we weren't like just pumped with adrenaline to compete, to be better, to, to just, just defeat our enemy. That, that's a thing of capitalism. That's a modern thing. And it's not natural. Our brains are not wired like this. Uh, because capitalism is made to uh, build maximum profit so big corporations they just want to make money and that's it no matter uh what that profit comes from so basically the way society is built doesn't um meet our needs as human beings i i read this article by david matthews and he was questioning the biological reasons of mental illness and he was saying of course some mental illnesses are biologically caused of course but then there's a serotonin theory which a lot of people was starting to question and the serotonin theory says that oh you're depressed because you're not producing enough serotonin so here's a pill <laughs> produced by Big Pharma that is going to solve this problem and make you not depressed. 1984 much, you know, like that book by George Orwell, if you ever uh, saw it, read it, I think you can relate to this. It's becoming real. 1984 is becoming real. It's coming. And um, another big uh, ax of capitalism is Consumerism. Capitalism has to keep us consuming and has to keep us believe that nothing ever is good enough. My clothes will not be good enough next year. My house will not be good enough because there's going to be um, better, uh, more, you know, modern houses and um, my neighbor is going to have a better house than me or my friends are going to have a better house than me. Uh, people on uh, the magazines are going to have a pool and I want a pool. And uh, the same for, you know, cars and everything that we um, consume. So what we consume is no longer utilitarian. I don't consume... I don't have uh, clothes because I need to, to get warm. I have clothes because I have to appear a certain way. I have to, like, have a certain status, again, to compete against people, to compete against other people. And then there's media, there's all kinds of, like, you know, ads that make me feel like I'm not good enough. And this is not a good feeling. This is really bad for my mental health. Why, why would anyone make me feel like I'm not good enough, but this is what society does all the time. You're not thin enough. You don't have enough money. Um, you don't have a good enough job. You don't have enough status. You're too old, etc, etc, etc. These things are just made to um, make you consume and they make you more depressed. Um, this, uh, this guy that I wrote the article from, he says that when uh, he talks about the basic necessities of the human being and he talks about the need for connection, the need for belonging and uh, the need for creative creativity and these needs are not being met in modern society. We are not, we're not kinetic, connecting, <laughs> we are competing, uh, we don't feel like we belong. I don't feel like, I, I mean... Yeah, it's hard to feel like we belong. And sometimes we don't feel creative enough because we have these horrible jobs that everyone tells us is like the way to go. You know, most of us 
uh, don't like our jobs, but uh, society tells us that it's okay, it's like, you know, it's a fancy job, or you make a lot of money, or you make enough money, or you're never gonna have an another such a good job, so you better shut up and just do uh, what is told, sit in front of the computer and act like a robot. And therefore, your need for creativity is not being met. And as a human being, um, this this guy says is this is like a really really important part of your life and it's actually a necessity and if that necessity is not fulfilled then you are prone to get mentally ill he says uh, if one of the basic necessities necessities is found no fulfillment insanity is the result having been endowed with reason and imagination humans cannot exist as passive beings but must act as creators and he says that what i said it most of the times most of us nowadays are detached from our works we don't um give meaning to our works and that's why sometimes we record to drugs and alcohol you know uh, we drink a lot we binge on on drugs uh we we binge on video games because some people say like life starts after work you know that's totally false your life is in your work he also says that a lot of people uh, don't have friends at work and I, I thought about it because for me that was always a normal thing and because people always tell me yeah you go to work you, you don't go to work to make friends you go to work to work that's, that's completely fucked up because I spend eight hours at work so why wouldn't I want to have friends at work that's distorted and again that need for connection is not met so what can you do well first of all look at your career is this something where you're finding fulfillment? Is this something where your creativity is being ex expressed? Or are you just doing it like a zombie just to get your wage? Um, who are your colleagues? Because your colleagues are also important. Uh, they, 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 they matter to you. Um, who do you choose to hang out with outside work? Is this people who care a lot about fashion, about who is who, uh, about like just going on holiday to show their pictures on Instagram or th something like that? Or is, uh, is this people that you can relate to? Is this people that have the same, um, you know, uh, interests than you, uh, that, that can really like understand who you are? Are you able to be yourself with these people? I know it can be hard to find, but nowadays, with society, one of the reason, one of the advantages is internet. You can find groups of your interest, hiking groups, music groups, whatever you know. Just it's hard, it takes work, but you can find them. Um, well, other things is um, where do you where do you spend your time? Like this goes along with uh, who who do you hang out with? Do you go to a lot of uh, events that are a bit shallow or do you have like more uh, activities like ha that share your common interests? And finally, I would say, do you spend too much time on social media and what do you do on social media? Because one thing is, for example, um, if you go on social media to do activism or to share your passion or your interest or to help others, I think social media per se is made to uh, depress you a bit uh, and to make you feel not good enough a bit but it's also all right okay that's not such a bad thing if you go there to share your work your passion to share you some things with your friends etc but who do you follow do you follow famous people why you know um do you follow narcissists who spend their, their time um just talking about how good they are and posting pictures of uh, perfect times where you know their lives are not perfect, that's going to make you sick. So think about it um, and give me your thoughts on this. This, uh, this is quite new to me. I think it's, uh, for me, it now appears quite, um, how should I say, uh, obvious, <clears throat> but I don't think I've ever thought about it this way. And I started recently thinking about it this this way and it might have caused a lot of my uh, mental health problems actually because I think I've always been sensitive to this um, and uh, I wish you happy healings and give me some some ideas as well as the uh, things that you have thought about doing to um, get better in this <laughs> world okay happy healings